good morning dear students you see here i have written learners and teachers should not think for others ahomiyat ekhar kotha ase porhe porhuai ruwe pan ei kiniye nichit pan today you are the learners and i am going to say you something i am also the learners selam with you Our main topic will be today gametogenesis. Gametogenesis. The word is spelling is here. Like something found to be wrong. Gameto. G A M E T O. T O. Gametogenesis. Okay. So the T is uh, omitted. No matter. गेमेटोजेनेसिस प्रजनन कहर उत्पत्ति सो लेट आस सी दर्ड गेमेटोजेनेसिस हेज बीन डिराइव फ्रम वन ग्रीक वर्ड सीम्पलि गेमोस मीन्स द मेरिएज एंड जेनेसिस मीन्स द ओरिजिन द मेरिएज वर्ड इज रिलेटेड टू दि सेक्सुअलि लिविंग अर्गेनिजिम्स इन केस अफ ह्यूमेन बींग स्पेसियलि दूनियन अफ मेल एंड फिमेल and that is why the greek word combined when gamos and genesis become the gametogenesis so first let us have the definition of gametogenesis the process of formation of gamete in the sexually reproducing animals we can say here animal not as animal but as organisms living organisms sexually reproducing living organisms because plants may also be included in the same process of gametogenesis but as we are uh, concerned mainly with the animal reproduction system human reproduction system so here simply i have mentioned the process of formation of gamete in the sexually reproducing animals ahomiyat jouno prajanan kara pranit janan kohor utpatti hua prakriya tui hol prajanan kohor utpatti वह कब पार हेरि सीम्पलि जनन कोषर उत्पत्ति अलग ओरिजिन सम्पर्क कथा एट एबाउट दि ओरिजिन देट मीनस फ्रम प्रिमडियल जार्म सेल दोल प्रसेस गेमेटोजेनेसिस इज स्टार्च आम कब पार आदिम विष कोष किसुमान मूल प्रजनन कोषर उत्पत्ति प्रक्रिया तो आरम्भ है यह तुम लोग जानी थोड़ा ये प्रजनन कोष आदिम विष कोषव कत थे वेर डिज प्रिमडियल जार्मसेल्स आर प्रेजेन्ट इन दिस जार्मिनेल एपिथेलियम सो द जार्मिनेल एपिथेलियम मे बी अफ टेस्टिस मे बी अफ ओभेरि द टू मेन गनाट्स मेल गनाट इज टेस्टिस फिमेल गनाट इज ओभेरि already in our previous discussion elaborately we have discussed about the internal structure of testis and the ovary and we have found ovary related with the process of spermation uh, formation and development of the sperm and sorry we have found the testis related related with the process of uh, formation and development of the sperm process is called spermatogenesis and the ovary is related with the formation and development of the ovum or egg the process is oogenesis so in both the cases uh, the two principal organs testis and ovary we have found and they have some structures where pre, uh, epithel germinal epithelium was present and germinal epithelium related with the formation of the primordial germ cell so in this connection you should have the idea of somatic cell and the germinal cell ahomiyat ami ko somatic cell dekh ko germinal cell bish ko amar sharir tor gote ong hoy dekh ko horara gothito hoy the each and every parts of our body both external and internal आर मेड अब अब सोमेटिक सेल्स इतना भर किसान रेस्ट्रिक्टेड सेल आज से जिये विषकोषर भूमिका पालन कर अब दिश साम डियर स्पेसियलाइज सेल्स हुईज पार्फर्म द फांगशन अब जार्मिनेल सेल 
germinal cell related always with the production of the gamete two types of gametes we have already mentioned sperm and ovum ami dui dhoner janan kohor kotha ullekh korichoi pung janan ko aru stri janan ko pung janan ko hok hukran ko ami aru stri janan ko bilako dimbanu ba ovum buli kowa hoy etia amar horirore somatic cell buli kaute moi je kolu je both external and internal organs bahiror aru bhitoror समूह अंग प्रत्यंग समूह जीवर कोषे गठित देह कोष देह कोषर अंश सही हिसाब से आम जो दो गणाद डेट इज शुक्राशय और डिम्बाशय यूटको आम सोमाटिक सेल गठित अंशर भरते धरीम और ये सोमाटिक सेल गठित कोषे बडी सेल गठित अंग दोटार भरते थक जार्मिनेल एपिथेलियम जो आम जार्म सेल जार्मिनेल सेलबूर जार्मिनेल सेल उत्पत्ति हम प्रथम अवस्था एट इम्पर्टेन्ट कथा तुम लोग कह थ भल हम जो ये जार्मिनेल एपिथिलियम जेन आम जन्म आगरपा सचित होगा किसान विशेष कोष और ये पुरुषानुक्रमे पुरुषानुक्रमे ये धारा मानने थे अर्थात पितृपुरुषरपा उत्तर पुरुषल के कोषे गति लाभ कर और कब गई परवर्ती अवस्था देश कोषबर सृष्टि है धरव पार गति के उत्पत्तर फल फ्रम दि पॉइंट अफ भिउ अफ जेनेरेशन दार्मिनेल सेल्स आर आर्लियर देन देट अफ दोमाटिक सेल्स वाई यू केन इजिली इमेजिन वेन दि जार्मिनेल दार्ट अफ जार्मिनेल सेल अभ्यूम एंड स्पार्म यूनाइट्स they form zygotes jojon ko aru this zygote develops into an embryo this embryo becomes an individual and this individual in later course of development produces again the germinal cell within them that is why easily we can say germinal cells are most primitive most original cell and in this connection you will have to remember uh, about Uh, some background history one german biologist weisman in his theory of germ plasm for the first time described about these germs germinal cells which are stored in an individual gonads which are stored in the individual body so after him aro khamer etu kwa hab 20 kohor moto but weisman or german biochemist jibobiggani वाइजमेन ये जार्मिनेल सेल जमा थका जी प्रक्रिया तक विश्व मतबाद भर धरा विश्व मतबाद सामुरी ला गए ये प्रसंग तुम लोग जार्मान बायोलजिस्ट वाइजमेन नाम तो मन रख लगे आन एन सैंटिस्ट तुम लोग पा लिवेन हुईक इन दि इयर सिक्सटीन सेवेन्टी सेवेन सिक्सटीन सिक्सटी सिक्स यू नो दैट इज It is related to one rubber hook for the first time discovered cell in the rubber cork. In which year? In the year 1665. After that, uh, in 1677, for the first time, Lewen hook. He discovered sperm or spermatogen hook rocket by hook run over hook run over with that. They who have discovered it. Or that, how can we be sure that it is not there? ज्ञान अन्वेषण एक कोषबूर आविष्कृत महामहिम विज्ञानी जरिए दिज द लार्ण एड पार्सन द लार्ण एड सैंटिस्ट यू कैन से ब्रट एबाउट दि आईडिया अबाउट दि प्रेजेन्स अफ स्पार्म सेल एबाउट दि प्रेजेन्स अफ अभ्यूम एक सेल्स हू डिस्कवर अभ्यूम यू सी दन बेयर इन दि इयर एटीन हाण्ड्रेड ट्वेंटी सेभेन यू कैन से आफ्टार टू हाण्ड्रेड फिफ्टी इयर्स बेक From the discovery of sperm cell, so he discovered ovum or egg cell, and uh, von Bier he was when the ovum was discovered. Process was going on, the sexual reproduction process within the living kingdom was going on unknowingly. The whole process comes to light in the 19th century. You can say, you can see like this. So when both the sperm and ovum were डिस्कभार्ड बै टू ग्रेट सैंटिस्ट लुएन हूक एंड भन बेयर द प्रसेस वाज गोईंग ऑन 
process of spermatogenesis, uh, process of gametogenesis become more clear. Two types of gametogenesis, that is why we have found, and I have also mentioned already, spermatogenesis, hukranojanon prokriya, oogenesis, dimmanojanon prokriya. Main steps involves, in these two processes, uh, both spermatogenesis and oogenesis, you will find these four steps or four phases and according to some books you will find the, these four stages in, included in three steps. So let us see, it's not matter, the main steps of the both gameto, uh, spermatogenesis and oogenesis, the main process, principal process gametogenesis is divided into four steps. Number one is the multiplication phase, Ohomiat gunon store. Number two, the growth phase, Ohomiat bordhan store. Number three, the reduction division phase, Rachatmok bivazon store by musis bivazon or doha. And number four, the maturation phase, Amiko poinoti store. In many books, you will find this reduction division phase and the maturation phase included in one step in maturation. So, simply, many books describes the main process of gametogenesis includes three phases multiplication phase, growth phase, and maturation phase. This maturation phase also includes the reduction division phase. Clear? Let us go on. Uh, now, elaborately, we have to discuss about these three main process, three main phases. Both found, uh, found in both the two types of gametogenesis, spermatogenesis and oogenesis. In this part, you try to be clear. The basic process of gametogenesis, its origin, its definition, the background uh, about the somatic cell and germinal cell, and the respectable scientists related with the discovery of sperm and ovum, that is, uh, you can say, Lewin Hook and Van Bear, along with the main uh, discoverer of this theory of germplasm, germplasm that is Weissman. Now come to know about the two process in details. What happened in spermatogenesis? I uh, have tried to clear your knowledge. You see the spermatogenesis process always begins in a diploid primordial germ cell. Here it is written twice n, two n. What, is me, what does it mean? Twice n, it has come from a chromosomal settings. In this connection, I must say you. When we have born, first our zygote cell was formed by the fusion of the mother's female ovum or egg and father's sperm. And both ovum and sperm as a, uh, produced as a result of these two processes, spermatogenesis and oogenesis, carry always carries haploid set of chromosomes, half set of chromosomes, half numbers of chromosomes, which is generally which is uh, uh, marked as the N, 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 N plus N. So N plus N become twice N in zygote. And Primordial germ cell is the part of the germinal epithelium, the beginner cell. And it is always a diploid cell, contain twice the number of chromosomes. Always you try to give stress on, in this point. Many of the students always uh, miss to learn about this chromosomal setting of the cells. But you must be careful. So it is written as twice n. Primordial germ cell develops into spermatogonia. And this development uh, concerned with the process of division of primordial germ cell by simple mitotic division. Time is very limited. But uh, it is necessary to say the two process of cell division, mitosis and meiosis, always attached with the process of gametogenesis. Nera nepera koi. Mitosis or meiosis, a covivazon prokeruta, zonon kohorut putti prokeer lagot, hangur kayase. Ami, mitosis or meiosis vivazon duta, 
গ্যামেটোজেনেসিস বা প্রজনন কোষর উৎপত্তির প্রসঙ্গত সততেই মনত রাখবই লাগিব কারণ ইতিমধ্যে আলোচনা করার দরে দুটো প্রক্রিয়া ওতঃপ্রোতভাবে মানে আমার এই মূল জনন কোষ পুং জনন কোষ স্থিত জনন কোষর উৎপত্তির লগত জড়িত হৈ আছে এতিয়া মাইটোসিস প্রক্রিয়াত আমি আলোচনা করিব পাৰো যে প্রিমোডিয়াল জার্ম সেল প্রথমতে রিহাজিত হব এটাৰ পৰা দুটা সেল হব দুটাৰ পৰা চাৰিটা বা সংখ্যা তেনে কৈ বাঢ়ি গৈ থাকিব আৰু এনে কৈ সংখ্যা বৃদ্ধিৰ যিটো দখা হেতু আমি অলপ আগতে যিটো আলোচনা কৰিছো মাল্টিপ্লিকেচন ফেজৰ ভিতৰত হোমাই লব পাৰো গুণনস্তৰ এই গুণনস্তৰ দখাটো অন্য কথা একো নাই যে গুণনস্তৰ দখাত কি হৈ আছে যে এই প্রিমোডিয়াল জার্ম সেলৰ পৰা স্পারমেটোগেনিয়ার গনিয়ার উৎপত্তিৰ জৰিয়তে বা প্ৰাথমিক আদিম বিস্কোহবিলাকৰ পৰা শুক্ৰ জননী কোষবোৰ সৃষ্টি হোৱাৰ জৰিয়তে নতুন নতুন কিছুমান ডিপ্লয়েড কোষ সৃষ্টি হৈ থাকে ভেৰি ইম্পৰ্টেণ্ট দ্য প্ৰিমোডিয়াল জাম সেল ডিভাইচ বাই মাইটেটিক ডিভিজন এণ্ড দ্য ডিপ্লয়েড ছেট অফ ক্ৰমজম ৰিমেইন কনষ্টেণ্ট ইন নিউলি ফৰ্মড স্পাৰমেটোগনিয়া চেল এণ্ড দিছ পাৰ্মেটোগনিয়া এগেইন ডি উইল ডিভাইড ছাম নাম্বাৰছ অফ চেলছ উইল বি ফৰ্ম এণ্ড দিছ মাল্টিপ্লিকেশ্যন অফ চেল ফ্ৰম ছিংগল প্ৰিমেডিয়েল জাৰ্ম চেল ইনটু মেনি চেল দিচ টেজ কনচাৰ্ণ ইজ কল মাল্টিপ্লিকেশ্যন ফেজ অফ দিচ ডিফাৰেন্স পাৰ্মেটোগনিয়া ছাম উইল ডেভেলপ ছাম উইল গ্ৰ' বাই হেভিং গুড নিউট্ৰিশ্যন এণ্ড দে উইল ডেভেলপ টু এ ষ্টেজ নন এজ দ্য প্ৰাইমাৰী স্পাৰ্মেটোচাইট primary spermatocyte and the primordial germ cell i hope you will not confuse primordial germ cell is one and from this primordial germ meto, uh, germ cell the spermatogonia will be formed from the spermatogonia the newly formed cell will be the primary spermatocyte till this stage the mitotic cell division will be concerned and the chromosome number will remain same twice and twice and twice and now this primary spermatocyte which will grow to a certain stage and this phase will concern with the growth phase by taking more nutrition now undergo meiotic cell division when we shall discuss about meiosis always we see we get that meiotic cell division occurs twice first meiosis and second meiosis the first meiosis is called as the reduction cell division that reduction cell division or this reduction division is very important along with this process gametogenesis why the chromosome number should be reduces from diploid to haploid from twice and to n when from the primordial germ cell through spermatogonia and primary spermatocyte the sperm will be produces ultimately they must carry haploid set of chromosome half number of chromosome that is from twice n to n so that during the time of fertilization the chromosome number remain same according to the parent chromosome number for example i can say human being always have 46 total number of chromosome in each and every cell and uh, of this 46 number of chromosome 23 will remain in the sperm cell and 23 will be remain in the ovum cell when ovum and sperm will combine to form zygote 23 plus 23 will be again 46 and from this original zygote uh, cell having 46 number of chromosome the other somatic cells or body cells will be formed other somatic cells or body cells will be formed and they all will contain the 46 numbers of chromosomes. This chromosome number may be maintained by only this mitotic cell division and uh, this again will be promoted by meiotic cell division when the sperm and ovum will be produces having the haploid number of chromosome. You now try to understand how mitosis and meiosis are related how diploid become haploid again haploid plus haploid become diploid be careful so the learning process is very easy and very difficult so if you uh, become interested and give attention all thing will be clear to you like water and now you see primary spermatocyte will be divided 
and new cells will be formed known as the secondary spermatocyte. This secondary spermatocyte, mycoporoitu uh, gohamya doitiyo hukro matriko. Parhami hukro matriko primary spermatocyte aru tarpa chistiyo se doitiyo hukro matriko. A division process to doito hai se reduction division phase. Multiplication phase palu, growth phase palu, reduction division phase now concern. And reduction division phase two is a primary spermatocyte, tarpa's form is a secondary spermatocyte. If question is asked, how many numbers of chromosomes are present in the secondary spermatocyte? I mean, I keep up. The Amar Dito Kukromatrico Hoprakot chromosome or Hanka Kiman Blizzard Prostom Huda Hoi Uttor Hobo, haploid number or that N number chromosome. Okay, yet twice in a cell, it will become now N. And from the secondary spermatocyte, next division will come that is again mitosis. Meiosis completes two phases first meiosis and second meiosis. First meiosis is the reduction division and second meiosis is simple mitosis and then n number will not again reduces to half not one by n so it will remain as n and from the secondary spermatocyte some immature spermatid will develop immature spermatid and this immature sperm, immature spermatids are round in shape contain n number of chromosomes become now a specialized typical sperm which have a typical structure like head, neck, and tail. So, in a more dingy, aru, nes bihisto, aquacota, bihe akritil, hukranu, sisti, who are prohongot, ami, a round bagronia akritil, opornoto, hukroko, who are polygoton, who are procured to go to Alasana, Koribo, Lagibo. So, ami, ami, it a pump, the main process of spermatogenesis, ami, two types of process of the person, the problem spermatogenesis, this spermatogenesis includes. Multiplication phase, growth phase, reduction division phase, and maturation phase. When these uh, secondary spermatocytes convert to spermatid, immature spermatids, they will now convert it to mature sperm, and this phase will be known as the maturation phase. This maturation phase, uh, both uh, found in both the eugenesis and uh, spermatogenesis and eugenesis in both. We shall discuss separately up, uh, later on. Now, Sperms are matured male gamete, contain haploid number of chromosomes. So you see primordial germ cell, spermatogonia, primary spermatocyte, secondary spermatocyte, spermatid, and sperm. Now let us see here this diagram. You carefully notice this is the primordial. Uh, the, you can say that this is the uh, germinal epithelium. Germinal epithelium, which ultimately contribute this primordial germ cell. These are primordial germ cells, originates from this uh, germinal epithelium. And this primordial germ cells develops first into this phase, this phase, these cells, and then they are known as the spermatogonium. Spermatogonium by mitric cell division. Numbers of spermatogonium are being produced in here. So some of them grow in size, in volume. So some of them grow in size in volume, these are called as the primary spermatocyte. Now at this stage, after division, of course after division, they will multiply first. They will multiply in number from one primordial germ cell, two will be formed, two from two, four will be formed, many will be formed. So simply I have shown here, these are of this uh, part of this many cells, many uh, spermatogonium. So when spermatogonium again divide, these primary spermatocyte will be formed, these are the primary spermatocyte. Primary, primary spermatocyte contain twice n number chromosome, twice n. Spermatogonium will contain twice n number of chromosome, twice n. And this primordial germ cell also will contain twice n number of chromosome. Now it divides two cells form. From two, four will be formed. From four, this numerous sperms will be formed. This is a serial division process. Multiplication, growth, now growth is taking place. After growth, reduction cell division is going on here from primary spermatocyte, secondary spermatocyte is formed by mutic, first mutic division, next the second mutic division. So after second meiosis, from one uh, spermatogonium you see, ultimately four sperms will be produced. Many spermatogonium will develop, many sperms will be produced. And each sperm will contain ultimately the n number chromosome. You see this diagram is very important and it is very easy diagram, you can draw it up. So now you see one typical sperm. The product, which is produced as a result of this spermatogenesis process and this typical sperm had three parts head, the neck and tail move 
dinghy aru nets and this typical sperm when it is seen under the electron microscope will get this structure this uh, diagram is not diagram is very poor you will see in your book it is uh, clear diagram is given and in this electron microscopic structure of sperm visualize the different parts like this acrosome nucleus uh, that is neck region uh, then the proximal uh, centriole like this are mitochondria these are mitochondria many mitochondria will be present you know the mitochondria plays very important role uh, in case of uh, sperm's motility these are all two some points to discuss it's a vast course you give me time you help me i am with you so in these sperms again uh, you see the acrosome part the main nuclear portion nucleus here present is here cell body part you can say the neck portion and the tail portion tail portion also divided in two parts that is the mitochondrial region and the fibrous parts uh, that is uh, the letter uh, most uh, hidden part hidden part we can say and when we ca which completed this process now we can see this uh, spermatogenesis process here in a diagrammatic picture it is the primary germ uh, primordial germ cell adim visco toysen next from it uh, by multiplication phase it will develop to spermatogonia many spermatogonia will be formed one i have shown here this is also toysen it will it will be produced as a result of mitosis from this spermatogonia again mitotic division will continue the primary spermato uh, primary spermatocyte will be formed this is the primary spermatocyte pratamiku chromatrico toysen chromosome number and this primary spermatocyte now undergo reduction cell division meiosis division and as a result of this meiosis division from primary spermatocyte the secondary spermatocyte division this is the secondary spermatocyte chromosome number you see toysen become n here this is n toysen 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 become n and it is secondary spermatocyte from secondary spermatocyte in second meiosis uh, you see will mitosis that is which is equivalent to mitosis these are the uh, ultimately we can say uh, these are also the part of secondary spermatocyte these are all immature sperm actually these are round immature sperm which all contain the n number of chromosome from the secondary spermatocyte the immature uh, round shaped sperm will be, spermatid will be present not they, they are not now called as a sperm they are called spermatid অপৰিণত শুক্ৰকো আৰু শুক্ৰ কিট কব পৰো আমি এই ইবলাক পৰ আল্টিমেটলি কি হ'ব ফ্ৰম দিস ইমেছিয়াস ফ্ৰম দে উইল আণ্ডাৰগো চেঞ্জেস এণ্ড একৰ্ডিং টু দিস চেঞ্জেস দে উইল ডেভেলপ টু সাসেস এক্সট্ৰা অফ স্পাম উইথ হেড নেক এণ্ড টেল এই হেড নেক টেল ৰে শুক্ৰ হুক পৰিণত ভুল হৈছে দে পৰিণত শুক্ৰ হয় নহয় পৰিণত শুক্ৰ বৰ সৃষ্টি হ'ব ইবৰ পৰিণত শুক্ৰ so mesio sperm in english it is okay and now you compare this spermatogenesis process with the process of oogenesis the result of spermatogenesis you have found that is formation of the sperm this is the electronic microscopic structure of sperm and these are the steps involves uh, in diagrammatic representation in diagrammatic representation of, of this spermatogenesis and act, like this spermatogenesis the process of oogenesis dimbanojanan prakriya to a এনেকুৱা কই কেইটামান ষ্টেজৰ মাজেৰে ইচ্ছে যাব মাল্টিপ্লিকেশ্যন গ্ৰোথ এণ্ড মেচুৰেশ্যন মেচুৰেশ্যন উইল ইনক্লুড দ্য ৰিডাকশ্যন ডিভিজন হিয়াৰ অলছ দ্য প্ৰায় প্ৰিমৰডিয়েল জাৰ্ম চেল উইল বি চেম চ' ইট ইজ দ্য প্ৰিমৰডিয়েল জাৰ্ম চেম একদম একেই আছে প্ৰিমৰডিয়েল জাৰ্ম চেল কণ্টেন টু আইচন ক্ৰমোছম নাম্বাৰ বাট ডিফাৰেঞ্চ ইউ চি ফ্ৰম দ্য প্ৰিমৰডিয়েল জাৰ্ম চেল ইন স্পাৰ্মেটজেনেছিছ হোৱাট এপেণ্ড দ্য স্পাৰ্মেটগনিয়াম উইল প্ৰডিউচেছ বাট ইন উজেনেছিছ উগনিয়াম উইল বি প্ৰডিউচেছ as the spermatogonium contain twice the number of chromosome which develops from primordial germ cell in oogenesis also the oogonium will contain twice the number of chromosome which will develop from primordial primordial germ cell the this primordial germ cell will develop from the germinal epithelium of testis and this oogonium will develops uh, this primordial germ cell will be develops within the germinal epithelium of ovary see the similarities see the difference side by side now you see multiplication phase is going on number of oogonium will be produces and this all will carry twice the number of chromosome some of them will develop uh, will grow in size in volume growth stage will concern here the uh, spermatogonium growth and they become the primary spermatocyte here it become the primary oocyte 
it is the primary spermatocyte it is the primary oocyte the bolo cyt oocyte similar so primary spermatocyte will contain twice n chromosome the primary oocyte also will contain twice n number of chromosome here the meiotic cell division will occur here also the meiosis will occur but difference you will now find here in the meiosis of spermatogenesis simply the primary spermatogen uh, spermatocyte will divide into two first the uh, first two secondary spermatocytes will form it again divide into two spermatidic way and numbers of uh, such immature spermatid will be formed but here in oogenesis process you will get a difference the primary spermatocyte when will divide meiotically two cells will be formed of these two cell one is the active prominent cell and another is a smaller cell the prominent active cell will be only known as the secondary oocyte it is the secondary so it plays the role of secondary oocyte having the chromosome number haploid set n number chromosome and the smaller one will act as the first polar body it is the first polar body chromosome number will have also here n number chromosome but it will not so much prominent it is a smaller one and there are differences you now go on to see in uh, second st step so the secondary oocyte develops secondary oocyte develops into two cells of these two cell one will be again prominent large another will be small one if this is small one the secondary oocyte develops to one prominent and very small one small one is the known as the second polar body and this prominent will be known as the oocyte here it was the uh, spermat spermatid ami ko it is spermatid it is called oocyte the spellings are also more or less similar spermatid and utid ami cooperate is immersed ova now this immersed ova become a matured ova eta aru jai gama en lagibo it becomes a matured ova a to matured ova and it will simply converse transform to matured ova and this will be known as the ovum but this single in one oogenesis process the single ovum will be remain single ovum will be present which will act as the matured egg or matured ovum but others which is a second polar body and a earlier this less prominent polar body first polar body again they will divide into two and they will form the third polar body so ultimately three polar cells will be here form they cannot take part in the process of fertilization they will later eliminates they will later destroyed in a process so this polar bodies will be eliminated and this will remain as active ovum and active ovum will take part only in the fertilization with the sperm as the sperm have a definite structure like this the ovum also will have a definite structure and uh, here let us finish let us stop the two process of spermatogenesis and oogenesis and now most important from all this above discussion what we have actually learned we learn what is gametogenesis the process of formation and development we can say include the word development uh, of the process of formation and development of the sperm and ova together known as gametogenesis or very simply you can say the process of formation and development of the gametes known as gametogenesis then what are the steps phases are found we have got the four steps or three steps as you like you can say mainly the multiplication growth and maturation and maturation may divided into reduction cell division and the maturation and uh, how many types already we have discussed how many types are there two types spermatogenesis and oogenesis but in spermatogenesis you must notice one point you see the immature sperms the round shaped immature sperms are developed from the secondary spermatocyte and this immature sperm later develop or converge into the mature sperm uh, following some changes this process involves this process involves spermiogenesis you try to have the word spermiogenesis most important this spermiogenesis word is very important i have mentioned it spermiogenesis spermiogenesis in examination many times asked what is spermiogenesis many student fails to give the correct answer spermiogenesis is a, is the part of spermatogenesis when immature sperm become mature sperm from this stage to this stage only we can say from this stage to this stage spermiogenesis
So, very simple thing. Immature sperm become mature sperm. In this place called spermiogenesis. But from this to this, together we can say it is spermatogenesis. And um, similarities and differences between these two processes, spermatogenesis and eugenesis, I have already explained well. If you can follow me, you will learn that what are the similarities, what are the differences. Time to time, I have mentioned. Let us stop here. Thank you all.